Alright, this is uh, part two of the server room rebuild here. Um, Move that rack over to the left and got rid of a lot of old equipment that I don't use anymore or that was all 10 base um, dial up old school stuff, T1s mainly. Um, used to do a little bit of research on that stuff, but now it's so old that I don't even want to mess with it anymore. So it's it's gone. Um, so I moved this rack. It's this. It's pretty much the same way it's been, um, but it was leveling forward, or I'm sorry, it was it was kind of tilting backwards from the earthquake mount, or earthquake brace right here. So I just leveled it out, and now they're both nice and level. Moved this rack over to this side so that way I can move this rack and get back here and get around to the back of it and one thing I am still going to figure out is should I maybe somebody could put this in the comments I don't know should I put wheels on the bottom of the rack I did put wheels on this rack um, and it's nice because if I need to work on it I can just slide it out or wherever um, but the other thing that concerns me is I don't know what these wheels are weight rated for and I'm not too sure if Home Depot actually says they know what they're rated for so what I'm worried about is just putting them on the wheels and then just completely getting crushed by the weight because this rack here is probably a good three maybe 600 pounds with all these servers in it so that's gonna be the next thing um, and then I got this PowerEdge R805 booted up to Windows 10 Pro currently. Um, so the way when I do my servers, um, I boot them to Windows 10 Pro and then I will boot in Windows Server um, that way. Uh, there's a reason I do it that way, but we'll get into that when we start doing technical stuff. I'm not going to go into too technical on this video trying to make this a little bit quicker than the last one but so yeah these racks have just got moved over all the wiring up here was luckily um, I installed it on with enough uh, mobility to just kind of push it over and pull it down to the left same with that coax right there this coax right here just got moved over and down so um, I did put some new LEDs on the rack those are pretty neat. Those were like 20 bucks on Amazon, and then they change colors to their RGB, and they go to music. So if I ever feel like I'm in a musical type of day, I'll just uh, I can do that if I want to. Nothing's changed with this. Everything's still the same. I'm gonna be configuring that for DAC uh, probably later today when I feel like messing around with the bio stuff and slowly just kind of work up the chain. I got one more 805 to do and then I'm going to mess with the HP next and got the Cisco switch running. Currently the Cisco switch is not configured, it's just running basic out of the box configuration. So I'll plug it in and it works, that's all I need. I just need an internet on it right now, I don't need anything else. Um, we'll probably end up doing most of that on Sunday. And so that's pretty much it for now. This place is a mess, just trying to get things adjusted and I got wiring out there of all the old stuff and uh, yeah we'll uh, I'll update everybody on how it looks when I finish